A cofferdam is a watertight, temporary, dam-like structure that is installed to enclose an area that is submerged underwater to create dry conditions for workers to carry out their work. Cofferdams are built to enable construction in large water bodies like bridge piers, rigs and oil platforms by diverting the flow of water and pumping out water from the enclosed cofferdam. Also known as caissons, these temporary structures are used in trenchless technology where deep installations are involved or the soil is water-bearing. A cofferdam is installed to create safe working conditions for the construction of large-scale water projects like dams, rigs, and oil platforms. The stream of water is diverted by the cofferdam and a large enough area is enclosed. The cofferdam needs to be installed properly, and correctly pressurized to prevent failure. In cases where the cofferdams need to be taken to great depths like for piers that need to be embedded in hard strata, bottomless caissons with strong roofs are sunk. From the top of the caisson, plate iron walls are erected with an open top. In this upper caisson, the structure is built on top of the lower caisson roof until it sinks to the required depth. The workers then leave and the structure is filled with concrete. There are many types of cofferdams. A cofferdam is defined as a temporary barrier in or around a body of water which allows the process of dewatering, diversion, or damming of water within an enclosed area. The major purpose of any cofferdam type is to hold back overwhelming or inconvenient waters and create a dry work environment. This allows a project to proceed with as little resistance and as much safety as possible. A dam it dams cofferdam holds back water to create a temporary barrier around a project site. Cofferdams usually fall into these categories, cantle ever sheet pile cofferdam, braced cofferdam, earth embankment cofferdam, rock fill cofferdam, double wall cofferdam, cellular cofferdam, cantle ever sheet piles cofferdam type of cofferdam is susceptible to leakage and flood damage making these forms of damming better suited for smaller depths of water, up to 18 feet. They can be constructed of wood, concrete, or steel, each with their own size limitations in what they can handle. Wooden sheet pile cofferdam is suitable for up to 9 feet, steel sheet pile is suited up to 18 feet head of water, similar to concrete, which suitable when headroom is limited. They are bored and cast in place and are to be used to avoid noise and vibration. Earth embankment type of cofferdam is suitable for high heads of water with low velocity. A successful cofferdam does not need to be completely watertight because some seepage of water into the excavation is usually well tolerated. The water collected is pumped out of the excavation afterwards. The embankment is provided with a freeboard minimum of 3 feet to prevent overtopping by waves. This type of cofferdam requires large base area and is adopted when an area of excavation is very large. Clay soil is appropriate for the construction in dry season. If constructed in wet season, sand fill is the best material. Rock fill. Embankment cofferdam type is made of rock fill. A typical section rock fill cofferdam is better than the earth fill. These are very pervious and are usually provided with an impermeable membrane of soil to reduce seepage. The crest and upper part of impermeable membrane are provided with a wrap to protect against the wave action. Double wall sheet piles type of cofferdam is suitable when it is required to exclude water over 36 feet. This consists of two straight, parallel vertical wall of sheet piling tied to each other and the space between them filled with soil. Double wall sheet pile cofferdam higher than 7.5 feet should be strutted. Sometimes an inside berm is provided. Consequently, this helps to keep the phreatic surface within the berm. Cellular cofferdams is constructed by driving sheet piles of special shapes to form a series of cells. The cells are interconnected to form a watertight wall. These are filled with soils and, as a result, provide stability against the lateral forces. There are two types of cellular cofferdams, namely diaphragm type and circular type. Nowadays even structure on water is being constructed, but the construction in water is a very tedious job. 
as the structure is hard to build in water as concrete doesn't set in water. Many methods are being used to overcome this problem. One the methods used for this purpose are coffer dams. Coffer dam can be defined as the temporary structure that is built to keep the water away from the execution site, so that the structure can be built on the dry surface. The coffer dams should have walls that exclude water from building site. For this the walls must be waterproof and the height of the wall must be more than the maximum water level. These types of coffer dams are preferred where the area of building site is large and the dry soil bed is at reasonable depth. The basic needs of human being are food, air, water, shelter, and transport. To fulfill the basic needs of shelter and transport, every inch of the earth land is being used for the construction of roads, building, or other structures. Please do like and subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon to never miss new video updates.